Hello everyone. So in calculus, we're learning a lot of tools to evaluate integrals. But in the real world, if you're in biology or economics or physics or whatever, and you have to evaluate an integral, say for an experiment, then you may want to actually get the result without having to go through all the steps of evaluating the integral carefully. So what I will present in this video is the number of different ways or tools that exist to evaluate integrals without having to do all the steps yourself. So the first one, which is the most common one, is to use what's called table of integrals. So if you look at your textbook in the back cover, there's a number of pages with like long lists of integrals. So they're also in the ebook version of the textbook. So if you look at the ebook version and you go in the table of contents, in the reference pages, there's something called table of integrals. Now, if you click on that, what you'll get first is the first table of integral, which is a long list of integrals. So these are all basic integrals and then they're separated in different sections. Here these will be integrals involving square root of a squared plus u squared where a is a positive constant and there's actually five pages of such uh, integrals. So the next one is also different sections depending on different types of functions. Now the third page will involve first integrals of a plus bu for constants a and b so there's a long list of those. Next page, uh, then you'll have complicated integral involving uh, trig functions, and now integrals involving inverse trig functions, which we haven't seen yet. And finally, the last page will involve uh, exponential functions and logarithmic functions, which we will see very soon, then hyperbolic functions, which we haven't seen yet, and then other complicated integrals involving square root of 2au minus u square for a positive constant a. All right, so that's a very long list of integrals, and that's super useful uh, because you can, if you have an integral which is on this list, then you get the result right away just by looking it up. However, most integrals you'll face probably won't be exactly of the form in this list. So you still have to know how to transform integrals using things like substitution and so on so that you can simplify or transform your integral into one of those that is in the list, and then you can just look it up and get the answer right away. Okay, so that's one uh, way to evaluate integrals quickly. Another approach now that we have a very uh, powerful software and computers is to use uh, what we call online integrator. So there's two uh, examples here that I will give you. One of them is what's called the Int Integral Calculator by Wolfram, which is the maker of uh, Mathematica, one of the best mathematical software. So this is really just an interface to Mathematica. So here you can enter whatever function you like and you click on Compute Online with Mathematica, for example, the integral of a plus b sine of x, the whole thing to the power of minus 2, will be calculated, and then you get a big, big mess. Right, so that's uh, one example. Then if I click here, for example, it will give me other examples. Well, this is the integral of the inverse hyperbolic function, so we haven't seen what this is. Let me type an example. Let's say integral of sine of square root of x. Let me ask it to compute that. It gives me the answer, which is this particular antiderivative here. Not, note that, uh, in fact, it doesn't add the constant here, so that's a mistake. There should always be a constant of integration here, but somehow Mathematica uh, expects you to know that there is one, so it doesn't write it down explicitly. All right, so the, the, the advantage of this is that it always works. Whenever Mathematica can calculate the integral, it will give you the answer. Uh, but you have to input here in the exact syntax that Mathematica uses, so you, you have to know the Mathematica syntax. There's a, a link here that if you click on this, it will uh, tell you all the syntax for all kinds of mathematical function. Uh, but you have to know exactly how to write uh, the syntax here, otherwise it will not work. Now there's another interface that many of you know, which is called Wolfram Alpha. That's also an interface in Mathematica. But the good thing here is that uh, you don't necessarily have to use the, the precise syntax uh, that Mathematica likes to calculate the integrals. For example, if I write integrate sine of square root of x, then Wolfram Alpha should be able to calculate the integral right away. Indeed, it gives me the integral, and now it has the constant, which is great. Uh, so, so that's the exact same thing. It's really using Mathematica, so it's the exact same calculation as the other website does, but here you can enter the input without having the exact syntax. All right, so Wolfram Alpha, the Wolfram Integral Calculator, and also the Table of Integrals, are super useful tools, so I strongly recommend that you get used to it. And in fact, you can also use them to check your answers on the assignments, and you're always going to get 100%. Isn't it cool?